For me, it's just it's like freedom, um, like the way that everybody writes songs is really collaborative. So it feels really free. You know, you feel free to do what you want. Volume, volume, yes. Resonance, <laughs> tone. <laughs> just let me know what you guys need up there. Taking it personal, like taking it certain aspects of it that I hear, like just so personal. Like that's my sound. Like that's my like personal sound to like then make my own sound on top of. So that it makes me feel good. Like ultimately, so that it like makes me feel good inside like the center of my chest. And then like, <laughs> that's what I want to share. That's the feeling actually that I'm trying to evoke, like to share. <laughs> It's like that feeling, like I know the feeling that Tiggy is talking about. And I get it when I'm playing the music, you know, we're just locked in, especially in the live setting though. That's the addictive nature of being a musician, is that like you're always kind of chasing this feeling of like, like that, just like, it's like this something coming through you. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. that divinity of it. <laughs> yeah. It's wild. Yeah. 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 grandpa actually and uh, he died when I was pretty young and when he died I didn't really understand the concept of death so well like I I guess I just still remembered it and I just felt like I had to write something about it you know just like a better understanding of what I thought was going on when I was a kid so yeah you know I wrote the lyrics but we all you know, kind of came together and wrote um, the, uh, the music to it. 
Trimars is definitely, I think, the most collaborative group I've ever played in. People are generally real open to whatever I write. So we all basically just co-write everything. You know, it becomes more of like a musical thing, I think. Funny how things can change. And I think that's what is sustainable about us, I guess. Like, as a group, we just <laughs> thrive off of like good energy and good people and community. Time Most of the songs I write are like encouragement to myself. So um, I was basically trying to encourage myself and others to take advantage of what they have because I have been a big procrastinator in my life and I've like slowly been breaking through that um, because I've seen like how, um, I don't know how your life can change when you make small change, you know, when you make these small changes. So Lisa Turtle is about taking advantage of, of what you have. Said I spend no time wasted on today. Putting the movement with the music further solidifies what the, what the music, what the whole overall thing is trying to say, which is something that I feel in a weird way people can visualize or people are visualizing internally like anyway. And like potentially a bunch of people in a room in the same place could all actually be thinking, getting the same image off that. My name is Santiggy, this is how I spit. I never been hitting my back with the whip. I can walk tall cause my spine ain't stiff. I'd be lying if I said I never smoked a split. Talking is a talent, but we all got gifts. We were born to balance the planet before it tips. From the center of my mind, the electric drips. The magnet in the core makes the oceans rip. We know a lot of things, nah, we don't know shit. I said the reason why I'm rhyming is to help us remember it. We only come in peace saying this is not a threat. Our world's not a star, cause we're not there yet. Some of my images I throw out there, like based on just the feet, like where I think the music is like the picture that it's creating like where like it could freeze in one pose and like, so I, some of the things that i do are are repetitive um i do certain movements like i'll do it over and over trying to really just get the point of like this action so that everyone in the place is like i don't know just gets that image and stuff like that the dude who just came up who's coming back up if you don't already know this is sean dungy and he was the first singer of tribe mars and we've been through like a few evolutions too. I mean, we started out with an, another member. He's still in the tribe. Like that's part of this like whole community thing that we've like formed within ourselves and then the greater community outside of just our band unit. Our singer, Sean, he was there since the beginning and then he had a family, so he's taken time off. A funny thing happens when a man has a, has a family. He loses that like fear of crowds, kind of, right? There's a baby scary. Yeah, I've been down this road before, yeah. Never seen a girl like you. I wanted, I wanted more, yeah. But she pulled the curtain right over my eyes. And you shed your, your warm disguise, yeah. That's why I was so like happy when they asked me did I want to be in the group, and I'm like, hello, yes. And it just seemed like a natural progression for her to then yeah. step in, and like, so we've been making new songs up with her. 
the wish that you are, yeah. You're a danger to yourself. I mean, Sean, his, like, um, his arrangements are so, like, interesting and so, they're so crazy that it would be impossible for me to feel his shoes anyway because he's so dope and his style is so cool. I wanted to bring myself because I knew that's what they cherish is people just being like dope within themselves, you know? So I was like, okay, I'll be my, I can be myself, but they like, I don't know, Tribe Mars makes really complex like music. Like the changes are really cool. And I respect that because I like music that's not conventional. So it just naturally fit in like with who I am. Right <laughs> We go in without real purpose in the beginning, and uh, we put a lot of work in every every week, you know, four practices a week, and we just kept doing it. We didn't know we didn't know why, and I think it was the mystery, the seventh sense, maybe. Like we we had intuition about what was to come, and, and it, it has just blossomed into something like I could never uh, imagine. Toxicology report came back. Too much passion. All the blood was dripping from the center of the palms of the hands. And in the background, I think I even saw some evil mans. But whether or not they had pale skin or sharp teeth, that all depends on what you believe in Adam and Eve, Adam and Steve. Money, power, greed, secret society. They got the on me, the watching me, the trying me, the testing me, the pressure in me for the information that'll set us free. Whoa, wait, those money, power, greed, secret society. They got the on me. They're watching me, they're trying me, they're testing me, they're pressuring me for the information that'll set us free. Whoa, well, wait. Drone fell down. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Crystals. Not much else. Is there. Crystals. Not, we're, not doing crystal. <laughs> <laughs> we're not doing crystal. We're not doing crystal. Not crystals. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, come on. That's they. I put him in my, I put him they in call my it that other thing for a reason. To throw you off. Aaron, to throw you off the real. Aaron's at a rough spot. Flipped it on purpose. <laughs> It's going down for us for a street video already. No, no, oh, okay, I good. Swear. You gotta be careful whenever you see a camera. Oh, <laughs> you know yeah, you see a camera, you just assume the camera's rolling. It's a good right. philosophy. Right? Oh, that's my fault. Oh, I'm taking hugs, kid. I'm taking hugs. I'm taking hugs. Go on, going all the way around. How you doing? All right. Nice. <laughs> that was perfect. That was perfect. That's it. That's it. Great. Right. That's, that's solid. Cool. Right on. Cool. Yay! <laughs> Once again, I just want to say thank you, everybody. Thank you guys for coming out tonight, dude. The energy, the vibe, from individual to individual. Human satellites beaming frequencies. Frequencies. <laughs>